As you all know, the Supreme Court's 2009 decision in Cartieri versus Salazar has up into the tribal land to trust process for more than a decade. Secretary Holland, you're aware firsthand of the Porch Manda Creek, Creek Indians and other tribal leaders' commitment in addressing this issue for the past 13 years. We appreciate the Biden administration's reinstatement of the 2014 M opinion, which creates a path for department to make determinations on whether tribe was under federal jurisdiction in 1934. However, we know the temporary nature of M opinions. As a result, we also appreciate the department's government to government consultations on protecting and restoring tribal homelands that were held that were held in October. That effort is a historic opportunity to provide clarity to the land and trust process. A number of tribes like Porch have asked the department to begin a rulemaking process to provide a more durable proposed, a more durable process for under federal jurisdiction decisions. We believe that a workable, a workable propo proposed rule should find that a tribe was under federal jurisdiction if it can show that it was a successor to a treaty relationship with the United States. If the department finds that federal jurisdiction once existed, it should endure until Congress clearly says other words, otherwise. Currently, the tribes are working on a legislative fix, and we would appreciate the administration's support of these efforts in Congress as another vehicle. If so, could you please provide an update on when and how the Interior Department will follow up on the land and the trust consultations and comments that took place in October of 2021? Also, once these lands have been taken into trust, how will the department prevent hostile future administrations from jeopardizing the status of our homelands? And what more can be done to expedite the cumbersome IBI IBIA and related appeals process that make it difficult to finalize tribal lands to trust decisions.